I went back to visit family back in India and I'm just talking about this research that I'm doing among a few of my family members and then I looked at my aunt's face. There were tears standing in her eyes and I asked her, what did I just say? And she said that my cousin, born around the same time as me, he had pulmonary hypertension and he died at three days of age. I had been studying this disease for 15 years and I didn't know that my cousin died of it. What got me into doing research to begin with was the fact that we need more tools for this, to understand what went wrong in there so that we can target what we want to try to fix. There's not a single childhood disease that we can say we're done with, we know everything there is to know and we're treating all these kids to the best of our ability. I think that every single one of them requires more research. I'm Christine Doucette a senior scientist or researcher at the Children's Hospital Research Institute of Manitoba. What CRIM does that's really beneficial is they bring together under one roof clinical scientists and basic scientists so that we can build fruitful collaborations. So I get to actually hear the patient stories. In some cases I get to meet the patients, I get to meet the families where I can see exactly how diabetes and the diseases that we study affects people um, directly. I'm Shana Coquat and I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes when I was 9 years old. And I would always wonder why I would feel bad about myself. But I still feel like I want to enjoy things like the others, other kids. First time I have got involved with CRIM was when they asked me if I wanted to be a participant in this research study. It's different when you're studying it than when you actually have it. When I got here, I was your traditional basic scientist where I was at a lab bench and writing papers and doing all of that. And then in coming here, I realized now that my job is to hear the stories and to reverse engineer what's happening in real life at my bench and, and build these relationships so that I can do that to the best of my ability. One of my favorite things is walking down the hallway and seeing Shana in the hallway and saying hi to her and seeing how she's doing. And so she gives us hope and encouragement that what we're doing is real, is relevant. Researchers, they inspired me. They gave me a better understanding of diabetes. And I think that's why I have so much hope. Yeah, it can be complicated doesn't mean you have to give up. I work in CRIM because it's a vibrant place, it's an energetic place, and everybody's door is open. There's a lot of groundbreaking research that's happening that's not only applicable to children here in Manitoba, but certainly to any child that's affected by any one of these diseases worldwide. My dad would say that I was making a difference and that you're helping other kids and I always felt good about that. Medicine doesn't happen in a vacuum. We get to put those heads together and if it does actually make babies better, it's going to make babies better around the world because that's how science works. <laughs>